What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every week. You don't want to miss these videos. In this video today, I'm going to talk about orthopedic spine surgery versus neurosurgery. Why I chose to go into spine surgery and some uh, tips for you guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. You don't want to miss videos that I post every week. In this video today, I'm talking about neurosurgery versus orthopedic spine surgery. I've been getting a lot of questions about this and I wanted to kind of answer some questions. Uh, one of the questions was, what's the difference between neurosurgery and orthopedic spine surgery? The difference is um, neurosurgeons go through a neurosurgery residency, which means they go through uh, four years of medical school, anywhere between seven to eight years of residency. They do brain surgery, spine surgery, um, and then kind of some peripheral surgery. Um, they do carpal tunnel as well. For uh, They train for seven to eight years. Orthopedic surgeons go through four years of medical school, five years of residency. In order to, be, in order to become a orthopedic spine surgeon, you have to do additional year of fellowship. So one year of uh, spine surgery training. Both can do spine surgery. The main difference is neurosurgeons kind of focus more on the brain and then spine surgery. Orthopedic surgeons focus on mostly uh, other musculoskeletal problems such as um, knee arthritis, shoulder arthritis. So we can do knee replacements, hip replacements. We can do uh, wrist surgery, hand surgery, sh shoulder surgery, foot and ankle, oncology surgery, some big tumors in a part of the body. So it depends on whether you want to uh, focus more on musculoskeletal problems or if you want to focus more on the brain. For me, I like the reconstructive part of orthopedics, so doing a knee replacement, hip replacement, fixing someone's rotator cuff tear when they come into the hospital with a torn rotator cuff tendon, uh, doing carpal tunnel release, uh, doing a, a fixing a femur fracture or a tibia fracture, so I like that aspect, and I wasn't really interested in the brain as much, but if you are interested in the brain and doing brain surgery, you should become a neurosurgeon. If you wanna do more reconstructive surgery, such as, like I mentioned, knee replacements, hip replacements, shoulder replacements, um, femur fractures, tibia fractures, hand fractures, you can go into orthopedic surgery. In terms of the pay, uh, pay is always variable on where you're located in the country, what type of practice, whether that's academic versus private practice, how long you have been a surgeon. Uh, it, it depends on a lot of different things. So a lot of different numbers out there. A new Medscape article just came out. I'm gonna do a video about it recently about physician compensation. Actually, pa plastic surgery kind of took the number one um, rank for the highest paid physician. And I, di I didn't even see neurosurgery on the list. So I'm not sure why they didn't include neurosurgery in this article. But neurosurgeons, I would say on average, maybe start off four fifty, five hundred thousand dollars per year. As a spine surgeon, it's probably comparable, comparable, depending on what part of the country. And a lot of people say, "Oh, I know this neurosurgeon who makes eight hundred thousand or a million. There's always going to be people out there that, uh, yes, they may make a million dollars, but that's not the average overall of what neurosurgeons or orthopedic spine surgeons make. There are orthopedic surgeons out there who make 2.5 million a year uh, because they do a lot of things outside of medicine. So I know an orthopedic shoulder surgeon here in Texas who, who made 12 million last year. So pay is really variable. And when people say, oh, neurosurgeons make the most or blah, 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 it really depends. No one really knows, but on average, I would say they're comparable. I chose spine surgery because I like the I, I like the pathology associated with it. I like the fact that when someone comes in with a spinal cord injury, I can operate on their spine. Um, I like the fact, I like the anatomy between the brain and the spinal cord and how it interacts, and and the the fact that there are a lot of unanswered questions in spine surgery. Uh, so that's the reason why I chose it. I love the surgeries. I love decompressing a nerve when someone has a disc herniation or they have a broken back I can take them to surgery and fix their back so that's the reason why I chose spine surgery I love working with my hands as well really meticulous uh, dissection and and uh, 
really paying attention to the details. Uh, so that's the reason why I chose uh, spine surgery. So neurosurgery, four years of medical school, seven to eight years of residency. Some people still do a spine fellowship after their neurosurgery residency just to get a little bit more uh, comfortable doing complex spine surgery and different procedures. Orthopedic surgery, four years of medical school, five years of residency, one year of fellowship. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting videos every week. You don't want to miss these videos. We'll see you next time.